Major League Football Media Day in Bethlehem Township, Pennsylvania. Green Pond Country Club. Golf's right around the corner, but not for this guy. He's working too hard. Head coach Frank <laughs> Delani in his 17th season, 30 years on the Lafayette campus, over 40 years of football experience. And, Coach, I want to get positive right away. Congratulations, your football team again, uh, honored with academic achievement. Uh, national award. So congratulations on that. I know that's important to you. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, I tell all our recruits all the time, my number one responsibility from the college is to graduate our young men in four years. Occasionally you have the medical situation that goes on a fifth, but we certainly work very hard on it. Uh, uh, you know, mandatory study halls, the help from our um, Student Academic Health Center, uh, all those things. Uh, and, and, it, and it's certainly something that's very, very important. These young men Sometimes with their passion, don't realize how important that education is. But they find out quickly after four years that people don't ask how many tackles or touchdowns mm -hmm. you have when they're interviewing, but they know that you were able to handle two major commitments at a, at a college that's very tough academically, both your academics and playing Division One football. So we're real proud of that, and thank you for recognizing that. We saw a new Frank Tavani in spring practice this year with the non-contact <laughs> drills, so many of those. Oof. As you reflect back on that, getting ready now for – uh, the real practices to begin in just about uh, three or four days. Uh, good idea, bad idea? Did you like the idea? Well, a uh, good friend of mine, Mr. Berger, who you know, mm -hmm. is a very good friend of Lafayette football, told me one time, you got to like your own ideas. So certainly it was my idea, and I better like it. But I, in, in all uh, seriousness, Gary, I really did. I, I, it actually, to be honest with you, turned out better than I even thought. And I, I give a credit to our staff and our young men, because it's not easy to go hard, but be smart kind of thing. And we practice in helmets and shells, which is a light shoulder pad kind of thing. Uh, but we did no scrimmaging, no tackling. We didn't get anybody hurt. Uh, probably about six, seven of our kids who had post-surgical injuries were able to practice uh, where they wouldn't have if we were in full gear. So we felt very positive about it. And I just felt 15 practices in spring it's not necessary and take some of the banging off of them. We're going into preseason camp, Gary, with 81 players. I tried my best to get the roster to 90, and we've had some misfortune already. Uh, just lost three more players and two of them starters. So, you know, again, adversity, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's football. You get knocked down, you get back up, and I've been getting it back up a long time. Due to our, the, our time constraints, I'm going to ask you to give me some, a thumbnail sketch uh, as I go around the units, let's start offensive line, and I think for the first time it's not one of our major, major concerns. Well, it is to the point of depth again. We're only going to have 12 of them the way it looks. I may move a, a, a freshman um, late entry uh, over there from D-line to O-line, but it'd like to be three deep, which is 15 O-linemen, and, and we're unfortunately not there. But again, you have to deal with it as it is. But uh, it's a good group, and, uh, and I think they'll come together. Tight end, wide receiver. Well, I think you know Wadsworth is really showing what an athlete he can be. I look for him to step up uh, and have a great year, but I also keep your eye on Angus Evans. He has turned himself into an absolute physical beast. Uh, that was his first year fully at tight end, having played quarterback in a couple other positions. But he – wait, wait till you see him physically. <laughs> Not with his size. When you see him physically and athletically. So, you know, again, you know, feel pretty good in the tight end spot, something that we – uh, do a lot with as well as the H back working with our tight ends. I know you like your stable running back. <coughs> well, we do. Uh, we're we're going to be down to five. Um, Rob Sprans is not going to be able to play coming off shoulder surgery, but I think there's a talented group there. You're going to see, you know, Deshaun Brown. You're going to see C.J. Emil. You're going to see Kyle Mayfield. Uh, there's a group there uh, that can really get some damage done, and I feel really good about that talent. Quarterback. That will be an interesting situation with two seniors. Both have won, but neither one of which at this point, in my opinion, has really stepped up and said, this is my football team, I'm a senior, and I'm going to lead this thing, and I'm looking for that to happen. Uh, so we're going to see. But, uh, I, I, you know, if I don't, uh, you know, get what we're looking for, then certainly we'll see uh, who else is developing in there. And uh, I've seen a little bit of our incoming freshman, McCrum, and he looks outstanding. Yeah good-sized kid, and uh, he does look very, very good. Comes with a lot of accolades, and, of course, with the, the two starters back, as you mentioned, they've had moments of hey. great success. Life is tough, and life is competitive, so let's compete. Might want to write that one down. All right, let's go on the defensive side, defensive line. 
that's where I think, you know, knock on wood, <laughs> this wood is our strength. Uh, we have great depth there, great talent. Uh, Lubadev uh, has stayed the entire summer, works out twice a day. He if just stays healthy. I think you're going to see the real Lubadev that we always thought could happen. Rothrock is just so solid in there. Our end position. So we're too deep in the D line. And, you know, solid too deep where you could play, you know, all eight of those guys, you know, inside and outside and feel pretty good. So it's great to have the depth there. Um, you know, and then our linebacker spot, obviously, headed up by Brandon Bryan and, and Roots really looked good uh, in spring and, and in the summer, you know, being here working out. So, um, and I'll jump ahead of you for you for the secondary. Um, I think they're as athletic group as we had. They're going to be young. They're going to make some mistakes, but they're athletic enough to make a lot of plays, and I think that's the difference. We had opportunity to make plays last year in the secondary, particularly the last game and didn't make plays when we're right. You got to make plays on the ball, but you got to be athletic to do that. And special teams. Special teams, I think, can be a real strength because of the athleticism. We feel good about the athleticism, the length of these recruits. It's a new thing now. Now, yeah, you're recruiting height, weight, speed, boom. Now it's what length. What does that mean for you, average span? Well, you know, wingspan, and aren't, you know, basically is what it is, and we're actually <laughs> measuring for that and doing those things because it means a lot, particularly uh, defensively. And you hear people all the time talking more and more about kids with length. Mm -hmm. uh, wait to see freshman linebacker Hutchinson has length, <laughs> you know, and can run and play. And but again, these are young kids, and unfortunately, we're still at the point where we're depending way too much on kids coming in. But it's going to be that way this year. And starting with 81 players, we're going to have to be careful about how you practice. But we're going hard in preseason camp. No different than the Eagles. We did what we did in spring, but we'll be. You'll see a lot of live action. We got two scrimmages scheduled with officials, and we'll have some live segments during practice. It's not his first rodeo. It's his 17th, actually, <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll get ready for uh, the first week of September with Central Connecticut State. Frank, thanks so much for spending time with us. Thank you, and looking forward to it.